Chapter 12. <sighs> I utter a startled groan and drop to the ground. I spun around to face my attacker. No one there. No one. Nothing. Huh? A shocked cry escaped my lips. I started to scramble to my feet and saw what had hit the back of my head. A bird's nest. A dried up, broken bird's nest. It must have fallen from a tree limb above my head. Probably should have taken loose by a gust of wind. Oh, wow. I shook twigs from my hair. Then, craving the camera case under my arm, I gazed around. Where was I? Trees up ahead slanted as if leaning against each other. A low mound of rock stood at the edge of a ridge of tall reeds. I'm lost, I realized. I gazed up at the sky. No moon. The heavy rain clouds covered the moon and stars. How do I get back? I squinted into the darkness, searching for the path, searching for anything I might recognize. Nothing. If I could find the creek, maybe I could find the spot where I found my camera, I decided. But which direction was the creek? I was completely turned around. I shivered. A cold raindrop spattered on the shoulder of my jacket. I jumped. The bird's nest had made me terrified of things falling from the sky. What should I do? My mind whirred frantically with ideas. Should I call out for help? Shout to my aunt and uncle? Maybe if I called loud enough, they would hear me. But no, if I shout, the animal, the snarling creature, will hear me first. Was it still searching for me? Was it still nearby? I decided I'd better not call for help. What should I do? What? Start walking in one direction and just keep going no matter what? No. I remember a book I read where a guy was lost in the desert and he tried walking in a straight line and he just made circles. He went around and around and didn't even realize it until he saw his own footprints in the sand. Maybe I should wait until the sun comes up, I decided. I'll never find my way in this darkness. When it's daylight, I'll have a much better chance. I didn't like the idea of spending the night in the woods, but waiting here until I could see where I was going seemed like a good idea. But then I heard a clattering sound and felt the rain start to pound down hard. A freezing rain, swept by gusting wind. I can't stay here, I realized. I have to get back to the house. I walked and walked trying to retrace my steps. I sighed with relief when I finally came to the clump of bushes where I hid. I fell on the flashlight and gripped it tightly in my free hand. I took a guess on which direction to go next. Ducking my head against the rain, I started to walk again. Less than a minute later, I stumbled over something, something soft. I landed on my knees, turned back to see why I tripped over, and let out a cry of horror.